So hey, today I'm starting a tutorial series. T uh, today I'm focusing on Blender, and we will make some Roblox GFX. So as you can see, we started out with a cube, which you have to delete by pressing delete key on your keyboard and clicking OK. So now we are left with a light and a camera. This will be needed in the future. So go to file, import, obj, and now search for a directory where you saved your where you saved your rig. So I saved mine in here. This is a hat. We will use it and wrong one import obj yes quest here is our character let's drag him to the center here so as you can see everything is looking white without any texture no nor color meaning that we have to enter the material mode you just click this bubble this is a method to display and you click material now you can see everything is shown you can move the light around to watch if anything is not broken on the texture now the lightning does not look very good right now as there is too much of shininess on this but on this let's say this is Sam so there's too much light lightness on Sam so that means you have to click on the lamp go to this little icon so, and this is the details of your lamp and as you can see the specular option is right now on if we remove that now the lightning looks way better and that's how it looked like in the final render but we're going to work on that a bit later so what blender is about is well, people use it for mostly bending and making renders for GFX. And what we will do here... Will look something... Will look something like this, as you can see on the photo of the video. Alright, so let's give this guy a cap. A boonie. good enough yes so to use the camera you go to view cameras active camera now to move it around you press you hold shift and F and now you can rotate it with your mouse and use WASD to move you can scroll up with the mouse to make your camera move faster and scroll down to sl slow it And the resolution of our render right now is 1920 on 1080 pixels. So let's make that even so we have a square. Go to render, render the image. Now it doesn't look the worst, but as you can see, our rendering resolution is on 50%. We do not have a transparent background and the lightning is just not the greatest. So what I suggest doing, go to shading, sky and change it to transparent. That way you will you'll be able to use the render in any background. 
now we are left with the bad lightning so go to this globe right here click it there is something called ambient occlusion click it and do and make the factor like 0 0.7 It depends on you. And here we have an improved lightning. So I personally like doing 0.7, but it's up to you. So now the fun part. Bending the arms and the legs. So what I suggest doing, go to there's object mode, go to edit mode, there you can see it's now outlined. This is going to be a little bit more advanced but just follow my instructions. There is a menu where you can just experience with the part. So what you do, you click subdivide remove doubles and now you have a subdivided arm so right click anywhere to de deselect all of the arm you can do uh, you can select all of the arm by pressing A twice now hold control and drag with the mouse around the area you want to bend make sure to select each and every single one of the of the plates because if not then it will not actually I will just show you what happens if you do not select all of the frames here we did not select that and yeah that doesn't look great so just select everything test it looks good now what do I do I just rotate it to the angle I need I click A two times I subdivide it again I right click anywhere I circle around the, the part I want to bend I test it if it looks good I bend it again yep. can do a little bit of moving so that's our part bent now we can select this 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 test it as you can see we have not selected this place now it looks good move it a bit and here you go that doesn't look that great so I'm going to redo this from the bottom with half the area selected and as you can see the bent arm is taking place now select click press A two times now you can move the arm around go to object mode as you can see it's left in the place you bent it now if you want to add any objects for it to hold go to file import OBJ and now I have a gun I want to give this guy here you go that's an M4 just rotate it here we go And like that. So
So I, what I personally like doing is rotating this whole body part. And I'll go to object mode. Rotate the arm. And now he's holding a gun with his one arm. And it looks like this. So I'm going to make the other arm now. So here we have it. Let's place it. this so now he looks like this just standing still holding this rifle what I like to do what most of you should do I mean is bend the legs as well. This requires only one subdivision because the legs don't need to be bent a lot while standing still. You can of course make him prone or crouching. Rotate the leg. Subdivide, remove the doubles. There we go. Now we have the legs. What I do is shift the face a bit always test it if you have selected everything and there you go our final render looks like this So what you do, go to cameras, get a good position, test render it, and now go to your rendering presets, make the resolution to 200 or 300 percent, and render it. This might take some time. And here you go. You have your render. So thank you all for watching. Be sure to subscribe and like the video if it helped you. If you have any questions, comment down. I will be sure to answer.